I rise to support this resolution from the Senate. And I do so and say to the government that this is an opportunity for it to rise to the occasion. There are many things that this resolution is not about. This resolution does not stop offshore processing. This resolution does not assist people smugglers. This resolution, this resolution is consistent, consistent with getting an outcome. And at the end of the day, the government is responsible for outcomes, not just for rhetoric. Right. Now, the PNG court determined in April 2016 the closing date of the Manus facility. In April 2017, the government came to an agreement with the government of Papua New Guinea that it would close. And yet, the UNHCR has indicated that the alternative facilities simply weren't all ready at the time of closure. What you also have here is men who have been in detention for four and a half years with still no security as to what the future is for them. Now, people who commit crimes, serious crimes, are often not detained for that period of time, detained from their freedom. A majority of these people have been found to be refugees, that is, found under our international obligations to be deserving of Australia's care, found, found that we have a responsibility to these people. We simply cannot have the approach of the minister, which is to say that this is nothing to do with me. This is something to do with the government of Papua New Guinea, nothing to do with Australia. Now, the fact is, the fact is that you can be tough on people smugglers without being weak on humanity. Mm -hmm. We on this side of the House take that approach. What we won't do is just wash our hands of responsibilities that clearly Australia has. The minister says that he won't consider the resettlement option in New Zealand now, but he leaves it open for the future. He indicates that that's correct. Well, if not now, when, Minister? What is to be gained, apart from politics, of leaving these people in further uncertainty when the New Zealand government, under both the Conservatives, under the John Key, leadership of John Key, and now under the leadership of Jacinda Ardern, have made the offer of assisting these individuals, but also, frankly, assisting Australia? Because if the minister says that we have no responsibility, if he doesn't think that this is impacting on Australia's standing in the world, then he is wrong, I say to him with respect. He might disagree with that assessment, and people can look at objective facts and come to different conclusions. But it is a fact, regardless of whether it is right or wrong, that this is impacting on Australia's standing in the world. It is also a fact, it is also a fact that one of uh, a person he admires in John Howard led a government where John Howard, in spite of the rhetoric, said that the people who are on the Tampa would never settle in Australia and never settle in New Zealand, that they'd be sent home. The fact is that many of those people are today settled here in Australia as Australian citizens, and many of those people settled in New Zealand. Very clearly, it would be possible for these people to come to a, an arrangement uh, which New Zealand has indicated uh, would be possible whereby uh, they commit, they've said, uh, they uh, would want to, if they were settled in New Zealand, stay there because they would feel welcome there 
because of the actions of the New Zealand government and the New Zealand opposition. A good friend of mine, Father Dave Smith of Holy Trinity Church in Dulwich Hill, uh, visited Manus just a couple of weeks ago. And I say to the minister, it's worth having a look at the interviews that Father Smith, or Father Dave as he's known, um, had uh, with the people there. This is, this is someone who travelled there out of his view of what a Christian should do. Father Dave, I have disagreements with him on some issues politically, it must be said. Uh, but uh, there is no question whatsoever of his genuineness. And there are so many Australians who are looking for a genuine outcome when it comes to this situation. The fact is, the fact is that a genuine outcome is settlement in third countries. If the government can say it's okay for people to settle in the United States and that that wouldn't provide a pull factor, but somehow not okay in New Zealand, then that is an extraordinary proposition. And if the minister doesn't think that it's possible to deal with the issue of the relationship between New Zealand visas into Australia, uh, then I think he's wrong there. Quite clearly, quite clearly, quite clearly, with, with a little bit of leadership rather than ongoing rhetoric. But the fact is um, that, uh, you know, and I disagree very strongly with some of the characteristics that have been made personally against the minister. I don't think that adds to the debate at all. And I'm not seeking to do that here at all. What I am seeking to do is to say that these people who uh, have been uh, in detention at what was intended to be a processing centre to then uh, settle people in third countries, not in Australia, uh, have now been there for uh, four and a half years, and that is just too long. That, that is having an impact on their mental health as well as their physical health, and it would for anyone. And, you know, when I was uh, at, uh, at, at my uh, good old Catholic school, one of the things that, that I was taught in terms of uh, values was about putting yourself in other people's positions. And I say to the minister, put yourself in the position of those people, of those people. And, and the, the minister needs, frankly, to, to act with a little bit more maturity uh, rather than uh, the sort of, uh, frankly, knee-jerk, uh, let's hold these people almost as political hostages. Uh, you know, and that is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Um, the fact is, the 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 fact is that that these people need a solution, and that is why, and that is why uh, we have uh, we are prepared to support this resolution. We're trying to help the minister uh, find a way out of his predicament, frankly. Because at the moment, a way that's there isn't to just uh, stay, um, stay in a circumstance whereby he says, oh, well, this is all about Labor. This is about the minister. He has a responsibility. This resolution provides a way forward.